I'm making macaroni and cheese using this cheese. And these are the ingredients. If you've ever used this, please leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on it. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Okay, so this morning I'm going to try something new. I'm going to make macaroni and cheese, which is not new. I've made it a dozen million times, probably. Um, but I'm going to use this to see if I can make a good mac and cheese with it. It came in a food box, and then we're going to use the pasta from the food box, or food bank. We get the food from the food bank. Yeah, so this would be from the food bank. I've never seen it before. I don't know if you've used it before. Here. And then a cream of chicken. And then a shelf stable milk from Gosner. And then my macaroni, which I got from the food bank. I just haven't put it into boil yet. That's the one I got. And then we're going to mix it all up in a big bowl. Put it in a casserole dish. I might throw some dehydrated onions on top of one of them. That just sounds yummy. And that would be this one. That's the brand I have. I got them a month or two ago. <laughs> I was wanting to make sure I had some for the holidays. I can't find pumpkin anywhere. I'm trying to get some canned pumpkin to make a pumpkin pie for the holidays. And I can't find pumpkin anywhere. So that might be something you want to look for if you like pumpkin pie. I can't even find the frozen pumpkin pies. There just doesn't seem to be any pumpkin. Or pumpkin pies. Well, let's see what this looks like. Okay, it looks like kind of like Velveeta, except it's in plastic. It probably is plastic. Oh. Have you ever used this before? And this is the brand name. I've never even seen it before. Hopefully it melts good. I'm just going to cut it up in little pieces and get it ready to go in the macaroni. When the macaroni gets done boiling, I will just put it right on top of it. Get it all mixed up before I put it into the casseroles. I really don't want to taste that. Okay, maybe I will taste a small piece. does not melt so much in my mouth. <laughs> I sure hope it melts in the casserole. Hmm. I'm just adding the pasta to the water. It was almost out of rapid boil. So this morning as I did my affirmations, in the bathroom, in front of the mirror. <laughs> what a weird place to do it. I like my affirmations. They help me stay on track of what I'm supposed to be doing. I remembered to, I wanted to tell you how grateful I am for all of you I've gotten, I've gotten 10 new subscribers this month. Well, since September, so maybe not just this month, but that's exciting to me. Also, if there's any special videos you'd like to see, let me know. I'm going to be doing an All About Me video, so if any questions or anything you'd like to know, I'm going to try to do that next month. My daughter has challenged me to make a video talking to my younger self. That one seems more complicated because there's so many things I wish I could have known when I was younger, you know? I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to need, but I am making two batches. So I'm thinking probably that much. I don't know. I might add some real cheese just to give it some more flavor. I don't know how this works. It's very thick. 
literally cuts like cheese. I don't know. I think it's not cheese because I don't know. Let me read the box. Let's see what it tells me. It has to have ingredients, right? Okay, it says... Ingredients. Milk, milk water, non-fat milk, dairy product. All oh, this contains less than 2% of sodium potassium. Ah, those are ingredients. That's an ingredient that was not in regular milk. Milk solids. Yeah, to keep it refrigerated, so I'm surely hoping it melts. I have bought some shredded cheese before. And that stuff did not melt at all. It was bagged, and, and I thought, oh, wow, this is easy. I don't have to shred it. And then I went home, put it on the, and it didn't melt, not at all. So I hope that this melts. And that's my plan here, is to get it melted up. I don't know if you can even see me. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this up real fast and stir my pasta. I'll be right back. So I got all the cheese cut. I'm going to wrap this up and put it away. And I warmed up the milk in the microwave for 30 seconds. I know it'll melt in the oven, but I just kind of like to get it started before it goes in the oven. I'll let that sit for a minute. Hopefully it all melts. Never used this cheese before. So... If it's, if you know anything about it, please leave a comment. Let me get this put away. Very thick wrapper, for sure. But I like these little baggies. They don't have zippers, they're just twist tie. I'm going to put it up like that so I can see what it is and we can make sure to get it used before it goes bad. Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting when I pause the video to restart it. So I've got the pasta in there. That should hopefully help it melt. And then I have the soup next to it. Hopefully it comes out as good as the one yesterday. Yeah, one good shot. That's good. Is a piece in there, dang it. I keep rolling. Okay. Now, this is where we pray. Please let the cheese be melting. I'm just kidding. I always pray in the mornings, but I always pray in the evening. I don't see it melting so much. I may add some regular cheese to this because I want the kids to have mac and cheese, but it doesn't seem to be melting very good. It's been sitting under that pasta. It should have melted something. Hmm. Maybe it will melt more in the oven. I don't know. I'm not impressed with this cheese. Okay. I'm going to add a regular cheese to it. Let's see what I've got left. Hi, princess. Hi. Okay, I've got some of this. Very little, but I'm going to add it because I know it'll melt. And then we'll see about getting it into the pans and topping it. Put breadcrumbs on one, and I'm going to put the dehydrated onions on the other. I was hoping it had melted more than this because I don't. Nobody wants a big chunk of cheese when they're eating mac and cheese. Maybe I don't know. Okay, let's get my pans ready. Yes, I buy these at Sam's Club because. And there's so many people, it's so much easier on cleanup. <clears throat> and 
gonna buy them in bulk, so they really cost me pennies a piece. I'm just gonna spray them with Pam. Cheese. There we go. Slide that forward. Pan on this side. But it is starting to melt now, see? You can all do well, you could eat it just like this. But we like to have it baked with something crispy on top and the kids will really enjoy it. They're getting tired of my vegetable casseroles. Uh, so now to them Matilda made a cheese casserole. See what she says about that. There we go. Okay. It is heavy. You bite it up as best I can. You could probably put it all in one, but I don't want to add other stuff to it. I don't want to overfill the pans. When one noodle goes in my sink, I, it's so much easier just to get them all in the pot. Other people, when they cook, they leave a handful of noodles behind, and this mess is uh, very aggravating to me. And my, that little piece of cheese is going to drive me crazy. Okay, so it's all in there. Started, so it's easier to clean up. It is very good, huh? That's good. It smells good. So, I've got these. I'm going to add some ice to one. And Most all of the adults like the onions, but just the kids that don't. Probably do a pan and a half with the onions. So I watched another video where she had used breadcrumbs, and so I'm going to use these roasted garlic. I think they were 99 cents at Walmart when I went the other day. I'm not going to put a lot, but I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit because we will have garlic on everything. And I just wanted a little crispy top. I'm going to give a little bit to the kids. They love garlic. They just don't like onion. There we go. Then I'm going to cover it and keep it sealed until dinner time. And then if we want it cooked here, we'll just take the cover off. I could add more cheese to it. I'm choosing not to. I'm choosing to conserve what I've got left for another meal. I like these pans because they're stackable. And I can put them in the oven. I can put them in the fridge. And I put them in the freezer. I've made freezer meals like this before. So, there you go. Ready to I put go. them in the oven for about Thanks for watching half my hour channel. to 45 minutes. Oh, what am I talking about? And I gotta it show comes you what's so yummy. Come out, huh? Okay, I'll be Here back. Here is the finished product. And I thought for a minute the cheese doesn't melt, but it does because I touched it and it's very soft. I think we just need to stir them up, and they will be delicious. <laughs>